So one of the key problems that people across the board and, and all stakeholder groups recognize is that there's a lack of definition about extremism. Obviously, this has also been a politicized issue, but it's very hard for us to know, you know, when we're talking about countering violent extremism, the vast majority of government policy appears aimed at ISIS, ISIL, Islamic State, whatever acronym you want to use. But in reality, um, and in debate, there's a question, is it just ISIS or is it violent extremism? In America, a lot of that violent extremist actual action is committed by white supremacy groups, but we don't see that so much addressed. There's an outstanding question about, you know, do you expand the definition or do you <laughs> try to limit it? Um, the other issue you brought up is the fact that you know, views and expression do not equal violent acts. And the literature on this subject overwhelmingly shows that the majority of people who hold extreme views never commit violent acts. And so you know, what is happening when we are, as you said, removing viewpoints that don't adhere to the mainstream? 